everyone today I'm going to show you a few things with beads so I have these uh, plastic beads that look like a flower and then I'm having all these small middle pieces and I'm going to glue uh, this flower thing to a small middle uh, piece and then I am going to find two bigger metal pieces that I'm going to glue on the other way around. So when I have glued these parts together, I have these kind of shapes that can be uh, a dessert glass like this. So I'm using my dessert topping master and this is the milk one to make the dessert in these small cups. I have a lot of pieces from different canes that I made through the years, so I'm going to use a few of these to uh, decorate these desserts. When that has dried all the way up, I have this dessert topping master and this is the strawberry sauce and I'm going to use a bit of that on these desserts. When it's all dried, I am using some UV resin to glaze the fruity parts on these desserts and then I'm placing them under my UV light for a few minutes. For another idea, you can use a straw and turn this little uh, cup upside down and place a straw on top of it as a candle light and I'm going to show you here how I do the candles. First I glued this little piece of uh, candle into the stand and then I am going to use some glue to uh, fill up this little uh, straw. You might use hot glue for this but be careful because the glue can melt the plastic and you don't want that. Uh, I'm actually using a school glue here but I will switch over to my B6000 later because this one was not working as I wanted it to. But basically I fill up uh, the straw and put in a piece of sewing thread, uh, a piece of black sewing thread into this and I'm going to leave it to dry for a little. Then I am going to use a bit of the glue to make some drops on the outside of the candle as well. Mm -hmm. 
It can be a bit tricky. But then when it's all dry and nice looking, I am taking some paint and I'm painting the candle, not the wick, but the candle itself. And that's all there is to this little one. I hope you like that as well. So with these kinds of beads, you can make three different things for the dollhouse. And it was fun and very, very easy to do this. The candle did give me a bit of a problem with the glue. You need to try out what kind of glue that fits best for you. Uh, so that's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching and happy crafting.